Hey, what's going on everybody? Real quick, have you ever heard somebody sit down and play something like this? So nine times out of 10, you probably heard somebody play something like that or along those lines. And they're playing a minor groove or a Dorian groove, but even though there's completely nothing wrong with that, I wanna show you a little something outside of that box. So if you've heard something like this before and you've heard it enough times, you can kind of pinpoint out that that was a minor groove. And if you're more experienced, you can kind of pick up that it's a Dorian minor groove, right? So the reason why I say Dorian groove was because of the notes that I chose to play and the groove was something like this. So that B alone, I'm in the key of D, Dorian. Just meaning I'm using the Dorian mode. D Dorian scale, and you can stay right there and use that kind of as your one, as your tonic groove, right? So you can use that as your groove. So if you stay right there, you can kind of be in that mode, work right around that mode, use the notes inside of the mode. I think I used one note outside of it. But anyway, but use the notes inside of the mode. So I want to think outside of that box. You would usually hear like a minor pentatonic uh, fill going on in there with a groove like that. Something like that. I'm just playing a D minor pentatonic groove, uh, pentatonic uh, scale. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm just playing the pentatonic scale, D minor pentatonic scale. You can most nine times out of ten be safe with playing that scale over a groove like this. But anyway, I want to think outside of the box. So let's go back to our theory classes and our theory tutorials from before. If you're familiar with your modes, and if you're not, you want to go back and just type in modes, and you'll see where we've done the tutorials on every single mode, the Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Locrian, Aeolian, I think I mix, I mix it up, Aeolian and Locrian, sorry. I wanna go through this pretty quick, so if you're not familiar with these terms, I suggest you go back and take a look. But anyway, so the Dorian mode. I wanna think outside of the box, all right? So let's just go to the most common mode, all right? Which is our Ionian mode, which is the major scale. That's something that you learn when you first start playing the bass or when you first start learning any, in any instrument. So. The Ionian mode. So if we're in the key of D, and that's our Dorian scale, in relation to D Dorian, just like we've done our modes, where would the Ionian mode be? Where would the one be? So technically, we're on the two. We're on the second mode. So where would the first mode be in relation to that? We know it goes up in the scale, whole, 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 half, right? Which is the major scale. So if our first note is a whole step away, backwards to our Ionian mode, which would be the, the C major scale, which is still the same exact notes that we're using in the Dorian mode. We're using D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And then the Ionian mode, we're using D, E, F, but we're just starting on C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Still the same exact notes that we're using. That's why it works so beautiful. Right? So we can use it inside of that groove or inside of that mode as well. So we can play, uh, we can stick with the minor pentatonic, you know, just to be safe. I think that was the wrong groove. Or we can play the Ionian mode. Just experiment with it any way you want to. So you see what I did there? I played the major scale, I played the Ionian major scale. Right? So I went from C to C, but I kept walking it down using all of my natural notes. B, A, G, F. All right, and ended on that minor third, or it's not technically not the minor third, but if you're if you're in the key of B, it would be the minor third. All right, but I'm ending on that F. All right, you always know I like to end on that minor third of a minor groove that I'm playing. I've said that and mentioned that before, but anyway, it just gives it that booty, like I've said before. Anyway. <laughs> so you see exactly what I mean. I'm using the major scale on top of that D Dorian groove. So it's just a little bit outside of the box. I'm not using different notes. I'm just thinking about starting it in a different place. 
So if I actually played the major scale, you can see exactly what I mean. If I deliberately played the Ionian, the C Ionian scale on top of the D Dorian group. as good when I do it like that when I'm just ending from C to C so you kind of have to trick out <laughs> you know trick yourself out and just end on a different note so you can make it sound like it's blending in with the key of D Dorian right or minor key right playing a C major scale but I'm just starting it in different places uh, I started in the first position up here on the eighth fret so I can use those different shapes of the Ionian scale or the C major scale to my advantage when I'm playing on top of a D Dorian scale so that's just thinking outside of the box a little bit it requires some focus when you're playing in the moment right but once you keep doing it after a while, you'll just get it ingrained in your brain, right? It'll start sounding like, okay, that's supposed to, that's supposed to go there, you know? I play the C arpeggio, C major arpeggio. You can break it up, play the C major triad. Every, it still works. Everything you play the major in the major Ionian scale is going to work in the D Dorian mode or groove, right? Anyway, you get the idea. You want to experiment with this. And if you have any questions, always comment below. I'm always happy to answer your questions so you guys can learn this stuff effectively. And I'm trying to show you the concept, more so just a lick or a riff, right? So that's why I didn't pinpoint out a specific lick or specific notes that I played, but I want you to grasp the concept. I talk about that a lot. Get the concept in your head. That way you can take it and run with it. You know, I don't want you to sound exactly like me when you're playing. I want you to take that idea embellish, run with it, flip it, whatever, whatever you want to do. So I hope you guys learned a little something today. What I try to do is give you guys the concepts that really helped my playing and really gave me that light bulb moment. As I mentioned to you guys before, you never know what it's going to be. Uh, but that concept was one of my light bulb moments. It made me think differently while I was playing and gave me a lot more options and helped me to be a lot more creative. But anyway, make sure you know it's coming out clean, clear, and precise. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.